Welcome to the jungle. I'm your tour guide, the Crypto Gorilla. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to buy new NFT projects. So projects that are soon to drop or that are currently live, but have not sold out their total supply. So if you like this kind of content, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? And if you want to win 25 ADA, be sure to stay until the end of the video as I am doing a giveaway, or you can just check the description down below for more details on how to qualify. So even though this video is on how to buy on new projects, I'm still going to be going through OpenSea. Now the project in particular, you're going to have to check which marketplace they are using. But as I said, I'm going to be going with projects that are using OpenSea. C, but the main tool we're going to be using is MetaMask. So even if you're not using OpenSea, the OpenSea part doesn't matter. It's the MetaMask part that's going to matter. Here I am on OpenSea, which is a great NFT exchange, by the way. And here I'm just going to click the account icon. And you can see here I need a wallet. I need an Ethereum wallet in order to proceed. So if you click this, you can use any wallet from their list but I'm gonna go ahead and use MetaMask. So I'm gonna click get MetaMask and then I'm using Firefox. So here by default, it's install MetaMask for Firefox. You, it might be Chrome, it might be Brave, it might be Edge, whatever it is, click install. And you're just gonna go ahead and install the plugin. So here I'm gonna do add to Firefox. I'm gonna click add. Then the page is gonna be blank here. You just have to go and you'll see in your tools, you now have the MetaMask plugin. Just click on that and it's gonna open a MetaMask page where a little fox likes to follow you around. And then we're gonna go ahead and click get started. If you already have a MetaMask wallet on another device, feel free to import it. But in this case, we're gonna do create a wallet. I'm gonna click agree, but you should read all of this information. Then you're gonna put a password. You're gonna click, I have read and agree to the terms and conditions. Then there's gonna be a little video. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. And finally, they're gonna give you your seed phrase. Now, if you lose this seed phrase and you wanna recover your funds on another device or something goes wrong with the plugin and the browser trips out, you're gonna need this seed phrase to get your funds back. So if you lose it, Money's gone forever. Same thing if somebody gets access to these 12 words, they have access to all your funds and they can steal your money. They can do whatever they want. So don't hand this out to anybody and definitely do not lose it. So you're just gonna click here. Then you're gonna see the 12 words. Again, write these down. Then you're gonna go ahead and click next. And finally, you're gonna have to click on the words in the correct order in order to proceed. And if you entered the words correctly, you're gonna see this confirm button, click confirm. They're gonna say congratulations, do all done. And if you scroll down here, you can connect it to your mobile device with a QR code. I'm gonna go ahead and click X. And now here is our MetaMask wallet. The address is available up here. If you click it, it'll automatically copy it. Or you can go back into the plugins. And then from here, you'll have all your information as well as your account. You can click here to copy. And now once again, you have the address copied. So feel free to use whichever exchange you like that offers Ethereum, which is pretty much all of them because it's the second biggest crypto in the world. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using Binance. So in Binance, we go to wallet, fiat and spot. We look for Ethereum, which is right here. We click withdraw. Then we're gonna paste the address that we wanna send our funds to. That's the address we got in MetaMask. And finally, we're gonna select the network. Here you could manually enter an amount or you can click max. Now I don't have any Ethereum in this account since I already sent it, but theoretically you would click on withdraw, you would do the verification steps, and then your money will very quickly arrive in your MetaMask wallet. And to check this, we can just go up to the MetaMask plugin. And then here you can see I have 0.0961 ETH. So now we are ready to go and purchase an NFT. So if you want, you can just go on OpenSea, you can search through a project. Here we have Vogu Collective. I'm really salty that I didn't see that this project existed before it launched and they're all sold out. And now if I want one, it's gonna cost me 0.425 ETH. And traditionally, either there's gonna be a buy it now button or you can just do make an offer. I can make them an offer and see if they accept it. And again, I really wanna pick one of these up. Unfortunately, I don't have enough ETH in my account, but let's go ahead and purchase a new NFT from a new project that has not sold out yet. That way we're gonna pay a much lower price, but we are also accepting the risk that hey, it can go to zero. Not that this can't go to zero, but here there's already kind of a proven track record. You could see the demand of the project, whereas these new projects, it's a bit harder to gauge the demand. And I think it's pretty safe to assume that 99% of these projects are gonna be worth next to nothing. So there are two websites you can use in order to find new NFT projects. There's rarity.tools and there's nftcatcher.io. So NFT catcher, you would just click drops. And then here you have a list of all the current or upcoming NFT projects. On NFT catcher, you do have to make an account, which I have, 
but for you in case you don't want to make an account let's go ahead and use rarity tools both of them are pretty much the same they both have all the same projects but on rarity tools you would go here and click upcoming so on this page they're going to show you nft projects that have recently launched as well as projects that are about to launch or are currently live so if we scroll down Let's go to a project. There's a few we can click. So here is Shiba Society. There are 10,000 of them total and it launched today at 5 p.m. Let's go ahead and check this project out. So when you land on a project page, if the project has not launched yet, don't be worried if you don't see a connect button. If you don't see a mint now button, it's normal. You're probably gonna see a countdown. Maybe you see nothing at all. Check the Discord, check the Twitter. They're gonna tell you what time the project is launching at. But here the project is live. So we can go ahead and click connect. Our MetaMask plugin is going to pop up then we're just going to click next we're going to click connect and our wallet is now connected you could see up here and then we're just going to go ahead and click mint now so here you could see my ethereum balance they also tell you how many have sold now this project hasn't done so well they've only sold 875 shibbies of 10,000 in i think it's been seven hours but just for demonstration purposes i'm going to show you how it works what you would do is you would add an amount how many you want if i added too many so i only have 0.09 eth here it's going to be 0.14 it's going to tell me hey you don't have enough ether in order to purchase what you've selected so i'm going to click ok i'm going to reduce it to one and then i'm going to click buy and here it's going to tell me the price so 0.035 the gas fees for some reason are zero i don't know why but I would just go ahead and click confirm. Now, again, I do not want to buy this NFT project in my mind. It's not going to succeed. I could be totally wrong, but it really does not seem that they are doing well. And the purchasing has really slowed down. If we click here, smart contract, it'll take us to Etherscan. And here we can see all of the people who are purchasing. Here you can see there are pretty big gaps of time where people are not purchasing. And I know you might be saying it's only 13 minutes, but for a project that just launched and they haven't even sold 10% of their total NFTs, 13 minutes is a long time. You can see every few minutes somebody's buying. So at least people are still buying, but as time goes on, less and less people are gonna buy because they're not gonna have confidence in this project. And if you look up here, you can see so far, they've almost made 31 ether, which is roughly $93,000. So in the developer's eyes, in the designer's eyes, this is still a success, but as an NFT trader, as a collector, this is not promising at all. So let's go ahead and look at another project. Not that it's gonna be any better, but let's just compare the process in case it's different. So back on Rarity Tools, we can just grab the next one. It's gonna be Sympathies for the Devil. Here for the Shibbies, it was 10,000 total. For this one, it's 6,666. Obviously the whole devil play, they did the 666, but let's go ahead and go to their website. The process would be the same. You just go ahead and click Connect Wallet. Your MetaMask is gonna pop up. You click Next you click connect and now our wallet is connected and if i were to try and buy too many the transaction is going to fail so if we switch that to one and i click mint your metamask is going to pop up it's going to tell you how much it's going to cost 0.0666 eth it's also going to let you know the gas fee right now it's roughly 21 dollars 25 american and this is going to constantly change as you can see it just changed to 21 dollars 46 so you would just go ahead and click confirm you're going to get a little notification on the bottom left telling you that your transaction is currently being processed and then once it goes through you're going to get a little notification that your metamask wallet has processed a transaction if you click it it's going to take you back to etherscan where you could see the transaction that it's been completed you could see how many have been minted how many people have purchased it and then finally you're going to get to see the unique identifier that you will receive for that nft project so once the transaction is done we can head back over to OpenSea. now it might take some time for this to happen but if you click your profile here we can see the nft that i purchased it is now in my wallet now like i said it could take 10 minutes it could take 20 minutes but don't worry it's going to eventually appear in your wallet and of course i'm going to give my own a nice favorite but the reason that you see this gif and you do not see the actual picture of the nft is because the team decided that they will not reveal the look of your nft until 24 hours have gone by now i assume that they assume that the sale is going to be completed in the first 24 hours so there's not going to be any left for sale and that way everybody's going to be surprised at the same time and if we compare this to a project like shiba society what they decided is that they're going to reveal what they look like after 1000 nfts have been minted now as i said unfortunately not even 10 percent have been minted I think we saw that they were at 8.56 or 8.76%. So there's still over 100 that need to be purchased in order for everyone to find out what their shibbies look like, which kind of sucks because these still costed over $100 USD. So you spent that money and you have no idea what it looks like, but that's part of the whole process. 
And if we go back to my wallet and we click it, and then we click the entire project. You could see that indeed, none of these have been revealed. We're gonna have to wait until tomorrow at 7 p.m. my time in order for them to be revealed. My goal in this was to learn and I really learned a ton. So I'm super happy that I did this, but it would be nice if my NFT did go up in price, but I will keep researching projects until I find many winners. So if you wanna find out the NFTs that I'm buying, and if you wanna see the reveal of the NFT that I purchased today, be sure to follow me on Twitter, links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you wanna win 25 ADA. I am giving them away when I reach 1,000 subscribers. And to qualify, you have to do four things. And you have to do all four or else you will not qualify. So first, you have to subscribe to my channel. Second, you have to comment your Twitter handle in the comment section down below to this video or any video where I mention the giveaway. And you can enter in multiple videos. Next, you have to follow me on Twitter. And finally, you have to retweet my pinned tweet. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.